Good morning folks, welcome to Friday's vlog on a Saturday morning. Today we are going to install the legs, these are the legs, for the mash tun. So as you can see it's just 3 inch hollow hygienic tube. It's a little bit thinner than the stuff that I bought from ACS Metals in Lincoln. That was scheduled 10 pipe. This is a little bit on the cheaper side if I'm honest. Less steel, uh, easier to cut, lighter, easier to handle. So what I'm going to do, there's a lip on the base of the tank. I'm going to remove that lip, insert these legs. We will cut a wedge section out of the legs, just like here, like this. And then the leg will sit half on the base of the tank and half on the side of the tank, if you're with me, so it'll slide down a little bit. Yeah, well, anyway, let's do it. So you should be able to see there the markings that I've made to cut out the said rim, that little chevron pattern there. So we're gonna fire up the plasma cutter and we are going to plasma cut. Well I dropped a little bit of a bollock then, uh, when I was cutting out the sections on the side, on two of them I went a little bit deep on the cut and I burnt through to the inside of the tank. So I've just had to spend an hour patching up a hole which was about half an inch wide. Took some patching, inside outside grinding, inside outside grinding, but we've got them sorted now and looking at that. Doesn't matter about the uh, aesthetics because we're going to have a leg over that. The main thing is, it's uh, it's nice and shiny. There's no coking. It's got its corrosive properties back, and it's filled the hole. So I'm now covered in grinding dust, which I didn't want to be today, but never mind. So I'm going to get these legs. I'm going to cut out quite a few slots on them so they sit nicely on the edge of the tank. I use the plasma again for that. We'll back off the tank with some copper and we'll run around with the TIG welder and secure the legs onto the, onto the tank. tank it's 10 to 2 all morning so all morning it's taken me to put four legs on do the internal prep work on the welds do the external prep work on the welds and tidy up and she's done she's the done so we have a match tone of secret wobbles Little wobble. <laughs> I'm dead chuffed though. There we are. Right, let's get her out into the open and have a look how she stands. Pleased with that. It looks the business. There, so you can see what we've got then now. So that's the outlet on the base. The legs, it stands about 250 mil off the ground, maybe 300. And just almost nipple height on me, if you like. 
So plenty of space in there to pop the, the outlet's gonna go there. We're gonna use, like I say, a copper manifold style. These welds have been tidied up on the inside. I'm not gonna polish them up, it's a mash ton. Make no difference to me. And of course, we already have a tight fitting lid. So I can make a sparge arm for this, whatever else I like. Cap off these legs at some point, but it's totally not necessary now. She's solid. Really impressed, very pleased. confused what to do with this I want to back off on the inside of these tanks so when I weld the legs on the base I don't burn through so what I've done is get that piece of plastic that I was just looking at and I've basically covered it in masking tape the plastics more of a tent if you like I've sent the purge pipe into the bottom of it pricked in a couple of holes I'm gonna back purge it rotate it and weld on the outside fingers crossed if it does fully penetrate the weld, then at least we're going to have an argon back shield. It seems to be working. You can see that one there. It's come out quite nicely. It looks like it's got ringworm, doesn't it? But that's lovely. There's no coke in there. That's just scorch marks. The top, just done that one. I'm about to move it across and start that bad boy. Really pleased how that turned out. I put some light on the situation and you'll be able to see what's going on. So there is what is left of my back purging thing. I think that'll stand up to a few more uses. And then looking down here, yes, yes, and yes, they will just need to be hit with the sanding wheel or the buffing wheel or even just the pickling paste and that'll be fine. And then moving to this side, we have three legs on and the welds are just, oh, just delicious folks. Even where I've had to fill a gap, still lovely. Like I say, if you can jump it, you can friggin weld it. Right, I need to wash my face and get changed, and then I'm going for a pint. <sighs> Craigie boy brought me that one down. I am cheating a wee bit. Come on, Pete, you should have brought one as well. You're slacking youth. Right, I've had a wash. I have a shirt. All I need to do now is just quickly get changed. Right, we'll see you in the pub folks. Cheers, see you tomorrow. <laughs>